man, things just keep getting worse and worse and worse for Disney on the financial side of things. In this case, they're having to just accelerate even further on these mass layoffs, getting ever more drastic, because pretty much they're having to do everything they can now to try, try, try to save money and make some kind of money. You know, the, the uh, figurative way to put it is they're basically at a point where they're just turning over the couch cushions looking for any extra change. That's how bad it is. Uh, in this case, they've already been doing this these mass layoffs of employees, but now they're just becoming ever more drastic to the point where they're just firing employees on the spot now. It's gotten that bad for a woke SJW Disney. You know, hopefully it, it, it this will become a humbling experience to any company who thinks, you know, they're too big to fail. Says here on Inside the Magic, Disney moves forward with drastic layoffs, fires employees on the spot. Yeah. Says, uh, according to an ex-employee, the Disney layoffs seem to be continuing. The quiet firing process started with an innocent Zoom meeting. Yeah, it starts like that and then, you know, just accelerates ever further. Uh, new layoffs uh, startled at uh, Disney start off startled ex staffer. An individual on Reddit took to the internet in confusion. Did anyone else get randomly called into a Zoom meeting this week and get laid off, or was it just me? Qu uh, quick to the defense of ex the ex Disney employee, many expressed an understanding that everyone has been cleared for the last round of Disney layoffs. Sorry, cleared after the last round of Disney layoffs. So what was Disney's response per the fire party? Well, the industry is currently etc. You know, like something like that. The real reason is they're losing so much money, they're having to cut down the amount of paychecks they're having to write. Speculation about, uh, continuing on, speculation about Disney firing employees. Just as a, just as quick to react to the situation are the allegiance of Disney Park and Disney Entertainment supporters. The terminated individual work in talent relations, they were not immune to Disney layoffs. It's left many wondering that uh, what this indicates regarding the current state of employees in the production industry, particularly the Walt Disney Company. The ex-staffer at Disney worked remotely, but did international work on National Geographic and Disney+. Plus. Some were quick to blame CEO Bob Iger for the current situation. Others... Uh, postulated that the resulted from the rumors of an Apple Disney purchase. Either situation leaves Disney employees unsure of their position, uh, specifically after the 7,000 jobs that were cut previously. Yeah, they had to cut 7,000. I did a video on that. They had to cut 7,000 jobs uh, because they're, they've been losing that much money. Drastic layoffs. Uh, it says, continuing on, Disney layoffs impact massive number of households. Some joked that Disney staff cuts, uh, saying that if Disney took, uh, if Disney, if my DIS stock is any indication, I bet there will be more. Uh, yeah, their stock has, has dropped dramatically. Uh, with the sheer volume of issues at Disney World to streaming uh, wars, the CEO Bob Iger, uh, sorry, to CEO Bob Iger to the layoffs of many of thousands of employees and creates an awkward situation. Well, you just take a look at their stock. Um, you can see why they're having to resort to these desperate means. Last time I checked, their stock was like in the mid to low 80s. It was pretty bad. Uh, but hey, it's an important lesson. You go woke, you go broke, and no company's too big to fail because you see the uh, customers who they hate so much apparently, all we have to do is just keep our wallets closed. And then this is the result. Just you know, keep our wallets closed and it's only a matter of time before these events escalate and play out even more to the point where they're having to resort to desperate means. Plain and simple. That's why you don't trash your customer base. See, there are there does come a point where the customer is wrong. I, I used to work in retail, and there definitely are cases where the customer ought to be you know put in this place. The customer is not always right. I'll be the first to say that. But you know, a lot of times you know the customer they have to just keep their wallets closed when they're being mistreated subtly by their um, entertainment company. Plain and simple. And when they come out and say that they're having a not so secret gay agenda, when they're having to insert all this these uh, identity politics, SJW liberal ideology into it. Yeah, normal families just gotta keep their wallets closed and this is the inevitable result. It was only a matter of time before this happened. So, plain and simple. So you don't disrespect your family, you know, essentially you're trying to appeal to families, so then when you disrespect them to appeal to a small minority of blue-haired feministic weirdos on the internet, yeah, this is the result. And this, this, where is this new, you know, enlightened, woke audience? Where are they at, huh? Where, where are they, where are they not, why are they not buying your tickets? Because they don't exist. Plain and simple. They're a loud and, a, and annoying minority on Twitter. The silent majority is keeping their wallets closed and woke SAW Disney is filling it in their wallets. Plain and simple. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.